Hello, this is Maul, and I'm in the lower kitchen, and I'm going to tell you today all about my cook stove. I know some of you have been anxious to see the whole kit and caboodle. So today is going to be that day that I am doing a short video. So here we go. God bless. Hello, this is Maul, and I'm in the lower kitchen, and I was asked to do a video on my old cook stove so that you can actually see the whole thing, just not the top. So, this is a picture of the full stove. Let me go down here for you, and back up here. Okay, now let me explain a little bit. Alright, as you saw at the beginning, I had put a piece of wood in the top, which this is the firebox on this side. And then this, the middle piece is for to add some more wood in order to operate my oven. And I'll show you because what I do is we put wood in here and stack it up because what actually happens here is it heats the whole way across and it even heats over here to what we call the water well. This is the water well and I have a little bit of water in there because I like to keep water in there so it doesn't crack. So we have a water well and as I go down Show you the rest and then I'll explain how this operates. This is the front of the firebox which this opens and you can stick a log straight in. I normally always just take these two things off and three things and put my wood in there. It's a lot easier for me. And this is my the oven part which I'll show you now. This is where I do a lot of the the baking I haven't used it yet this year so um, and I have this little thing here this measures heat also it's a little thermometer for the reason oh. of I have one on the front as you can see which it works and it says you know warm moderate hot and very hot um, and it really has to be very hot but I like to use the one inside also because it's a lot uh, easier for me to see. <laughs> and this is the warming oven. On a lot of your old cook stoves they had what you call a warming oven that um, was on top. But this is my warming oven which is on the side over here. On the right side facing this stove. So, and as you see I have some really nice looking cast iron kettles that I have sitting down here for right now. We are eventually going to remodel and put a back wall and I'm going to be hanging a lot of my cast iron which I will love that too. So and that's my old, that's a tea kettle which I don't drink it. I put uh, different uh, oils in it and puts out the smell here in the kitchen. So the name of our stove is a home comfort. This stove is very old very old. We've had it for a good while and someone had owned it before us and so I wanted to show you here on the sides uh, this is what we use to pull out and when I start to fire I have to shut this knob down like that. To shut it all the way down and it keeps the heat uh, 
in the box here and then it circulates around. I'll explain that real quick here. When you shut the stove down, you have the stove pipe here, okay? And when that's open, it normally heats, like I said, up in here. But if I want to use my oven, then I have to shut it down, fill this box up here with a lot of firewood, which makes this get really warm. And then when I shut that off, there is another extension. When this pipe goes all the way down in the back of the stove, uh, there's another escape for heat to come out. It's called an exhaust pipe, and it's at the very bottom of this stove. And so the heat circulates all the way around. It goes down and around, and it makes the inside of the oven very warm, and that's how we uh, can control the oven. But it has to be shut down first in order to do that. So that's how the oven gets hot. And when I don't shut that down, the oven really won't get very hot just by using this one uh, firebox here. So we actually have to fill up the whole firebox. And really, inside of my oven also, which is really neat, can be some coal put in because this part lifts up. And we can actually put some coal down under there or even some wood. Uh, some wood probably also to give that some more heat. So this is what my cook stove looks like and this is the front of it once again and this is the back of it and as you see over here which I think is very nifty I have what you call an iron and I mean this is an antique iron I don't even know if it's, some of y'all remember this iron just uh, let us know it actually sets on the stove and the iron gets hot and then they that's how they press their clothes and I think wow that, that's really cool and it's a number seven it says on it so some of you people that collect irons you know what I'm talking about and others it's probably like wow because I know it was for me when when I got this iron so and it's very very heavy so anyway I want to conclude this today and this is uh, the old cook stove. This is Maul, and I'm in the I'm in the lower kitchen. So, God bless. Have a great day. Subscribe, and you'll be able to see a bunch more of our videos that we're going to show this year about you know other meals I cook on this stove and other things that we do on our farm. Um, just a whole boatload of stuff. And I know you won't want to miss it. So you know what that means, don't you? That means subscribe. And push that notification bell, and every time we put something up, you'll be notified. So God bless, and have a great day.